Researchers say Americans are expected to spend big this Valentine's Day. But with inflation at an all-time high, how do you spoil someone special without breaking the bank? Our Jasmine Simpkins is live in downtown LA with a renowned dating coach who's got some tips. Jasmine, where's my pen? I need to write some of this down. Here we go. Let's go. Let's do it. I'm so happy that you're taking notes because this lovely woman, Damona Hoffman, I've gotten so many jewels from her that I've been able to take out on these dating streets as I have been single and uh, hopelessly, but now with her help, I've got help <laughs> finding romance. But yes, inflate, infladating. It is a thing, guys. People are worried about Valentine's Day and if they're going to break the bank. But Damona here, who is a certified dating coach, I call her the female hitch. <laughs> and she's also uh, the host of a dating podcast. You guys have got to listen to it. It's called Dates and Mates. You've got some great tips for the people. Yes, inflation is impacting dating today. We're seeing that people on OKCupid are saying they are worried about dating in today's climate, but you don't have to spend a lot of money on Valentine's Day to tell your special someone that you love them. And so I want people to get a little bit more creative this year with their Valentine's Day activities. You can come somewhere like where we are, Grand Central Market. It's a great date place because there's so much activity. There's so many things that you can comment on. You can walk around and really have have action and activity to your, your date together. And instead of just like sitting across the table, paying for the prefix menu, wondering when it's gonna end. <laughs> you also said that people should embrace nature. LA is so beautiful. There's so many great parks. There's so many great hiking trails. And that would be a cool place to go on a date for people who are married or who are dating, correct? Let me tell you something. When you get your heart rate up and you boost your endorphins, it actually can be really bonding and can really make you feel that sense of attraction. So definitely get out on these hiking trails and even like bring a picnic blanket and, and a picnic basket. We're seeing that that is a date that's really trending. All of these dates that really get you to feel a sense of wonder and excitement again, whether it's you know, going to the arcade or doing something that sparks a feeling of nostalgia. All those things are really bonding for a couple. I love that. And all of these things, as you said, will not break the bank. So also you can be thinking about not spending so much money, but be thoughtful. Yes, you should be creative and you don't even have to go out. You could stay home and cook a meal together. And when you cook with your partner, it works on communication, which is one of my pillars of long-term compatibility. And it also gives you that sense of accomplishment. It's way more romantic than just sitting down and paying somebody else to do it for you. I love that. Okay. Pedro, did you get those? I got these it. are great tips, guys. Hiking. When we come, when we come okay, if we have if we have a second, she also doesn't think the movies is a bad place oh, for a date, she's correct? with me. Well, a first date yes. is something I wouldn't do. I, I wouldn't go on the, to the movies because you're, you need to talk. You need to get yes. to know one another. So if you're sitting in the dark, it can be very sexy, but <laughs> it is not uh, the kind of date that would really get you two to be bonding and talking about I your agree. past and then projecting to your future. If I can finger All right. snap. You I heard it from snap. the certified dating coach. <laughs> you heard it, Lauren. We love it. You know, here's... I, I totally hear all of her tips, and Pedro agrees on the movie thing. It's okay for me to have a different view. Absolutely. I mean, it's, it's just opinions, just how people feel about dating. Thank you so much. Those are awesome. Jasmine, you're the best.